Hey guys, welcome to another Grizzled Beagle playthrough. This is Jotsam. This is Krizzliff. And this is Dookie Dingo. And we're going into the Duke's archives, which surprisingly, very surprisingly, had nothing to do with John Wayne. And I was a little disappointed. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into huh. the video. So are we going to see so, the General Lee in this video? Yeah, I was about to say, is, uh, is the Duke's archive in Hazard County, or...? No, that's where the Duke's hazards are. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, when, when I first th hear Duke, Duke boys, I immediately go to Let's the Duke, which is John here. Wayne. Yeah, I'm just saying. John Wayne ate steak. But only because he had to. I don't understand them. But look, Smushy's fighting something like Well, he died in the Alamo, you know. <laughs> so, I know we've discussed angle theory before, but I really do have to just bring this up again. That thing is extremely large. Yeah, but that was tank and theory. In comparison, in comparison, the katana is not large enough to do a significant depth of cut <laughs> to be able to kill that guy. It's not how like, you it's, cut, it it's where it's you equivalent cut. Of, it's depends. equivalent of a bad scratch. Like, a bad scratch on the taint is debilitating. The... Mm. It is. Have you ever scratched on the taint? I have, but we're not going to go into that. I just killed a boar. Does nobody care about that? PETA should we be all over. I said it smells no, like really. bacon. PETA's too busy getting onto Sarah Palin for having her kid standing on his service dog. Well, how big was that kid? Is it a large child? <laughs> no, no. 600 pound is... child. 600 yeah, pounds. Yeah, it's a massive. He's he's actually made of granite. <laughs> they, the child they itself. Grow them he's, big he's in Alaska. carved from from stone. <laughs> he's carved from igneous rock. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's a small child, it's not that big of a. D okay, that is a yeah. pretty big child to be standing on top of a dog. <laughs> he's Stop googling. He's Stop not that googling big. and watch the video. <laughs> he's not that big, and it's a service dog. They 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 like to work. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get behind this. And that kid I, is way too big to be standing on top of a dog. But the kid is retarded. Saying, but he stands on Sarah Payne oh, all the time. You got the best helmet. Yeah, I did. I got oh, a really good helmet. Please put on that helmet, please. No, I don't please put it put on. on that helmet. It's pre-recorded, Dingo. It's pre-recorded. I know. I'm I'm begging past you. <laughs> I am begging past you. I'm hoping that the power of my implorations will travel across the barrier of time. Hey, you get me the right kind of DeLorean. Well, I can I can fix stuff in the past. The right kind of Del the right kind of DeLorean. Well, if we're if we're gonna go by Doctor Manhattan theory, all of time is happening at once. Yeah, he can't do it's anything about timey, it. Timey wimey wibbly wobbly. Stuff. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! No! Doctor Who Whoa! Reference from Dingo. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> no! You do not get to pretend like you even find it acceptable to speak of it. You, <laughs> you don't get to play that card. Look, I can quote stuff that Hitler said. It doesn't mean that I condone what he did. You've been way nicer Wait, to Hitler on these Dr. videos. Who I'll tell you Hitler? that. Look, if Jotsam can compare bass fishing to the Holocaust, I can compare <laughs> Doctor Who to Hitler, And you okay? got upset when he did that. <laughs> you yeah, I know. I know. I do as... You should do as I say, not as I do. Uh, I'm a terrible role model. I'm a dingo. Why are we still talking about you're this? You're a dingo Pharisee. That's what you are. A Pharisee dingo? Is that like a <laughs> yeah. dingo that's dressed up in like, religious garb? <laughs> yeah, I, uh... That's how they manifest. Have, like... I have, like, shekels and stuff hanging from my chest, so I tinkle everywhere I walk. Which is exactly what these little crystal dudes are doing. That's a... That's, that's a what dogs do. Dogs do you. tinkle when they walk sometimes. They, they tinkle when they walk. It happens. <laughs> How did we get here? Like, I, I don't mean this physical location, I mean this conversation. Oh. How did this oh, happen? Okay. I know how we got here. We were talking about the fact that Sarah Palin's kid's too big to be standing on a dog. But see, the thing is, like, PETA, alright, so PETA freaked out because Sarah Palin, or because Sarah Palin's I'm not, retarded I'm not kid. I'm freaking out about it. No, no, I'm PETA that did. PETA did. No, PETA okay to lost their that. mind. PETA's bored. But the thing is, Ellen, De Ellen DeGeneres did the, literally the exact same thing. She posted a picture of her kid standing on their dog as well. Nobody said a word. Everyone was like, oh, it's well, so cute, it's adorable. Sarah Palin does it, everybody loses their minds. I'm not saying that... That was a Dark Knight that she, I mean, if her kid was that big, her kid shouldn't be standing on a dog either. <laughs> Nobody should be standing on dogs. Literally, unless your dog is the size of a Shetland pony, 
You shouldn't stand on a dog. It is not. Okay, just, well, it, I mean, it doesn't it, it, have it load is, bearing It is one thing like to that. put a toddler on top of a lap like he's riding a horse and take a picture for like a brief second. That's one thing. But to let like a larger child stand on top of a dog, that's he's just not cool. that much larger. He's not that much larger. And tell me the difference. I mean, it's the same amount of weight being stressed on the joints. Does it no, really it's matter? No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, the it's child not. Weighs the that same game whether is bigger it's standing than the toddler. <laughs> That child is He's retarded. Than a he toddles everywhere he goes. Uh, to be that fair, that's all he's capable ratio. of doing. If the dog is laying down and the Look, child the is standing on him, it's actually easier on the dog. Coconut. Wait, I'm sorry. There's a lot of people talking. What? If the dog is laying down, it's probably easier on the dog because he can uh, take the stress off of his knees. Yeah. See, in the rep yeah, picture, also... the dog's laying down, and, and you're, well, in your also, theory, where the dog is being ridden. <laughs> Well, I mean, he's also standing on the dog, which is putting more pressure in a certain area. Why don't we just ask the dog? This is ridiculous. Look, I'm, I'm trying <laughs> to play Dark Souls, dog. and you're, you won't just ask you the dog. You should dog. speak dog, you're a dingo. <laughs> That's racist. Dingoes and dogs are you're not the same. You're a feral dog. <laughs> I'm a feral canine, thank you very much. By the way, I don't know if you noticed that, but the, the enemy teleported when I started to do too much damage to him. But apparently the yeah, teleporting makes him invincible, dicks. which is really stupid. Yeah. Because he should have already be, yeah, been dead. Groups. Well, he's part of Starfleet. What do you expect? He's part of Starfleet. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, they they have tele yeah they he's have teleporters. teleporting around. Yeah. Starfleet is uh, a he's also using is a uh, organization for discovery that only goes to war every other episode. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Starfleet Starfleet was founded by a bunch of white guys who just wanted to score with hot green chicks. Everybody well, knows that. That is canon. That's canon. If that was the case, they would do less killing and more. Uh, Commander Rikering. No, which is no, what they, have to, no, no. they have they, to better their odds of scoring. <laughs> how better to, beard uh, how to better <laughs> even the odds? But seriously, it's not better uh, to even the odds and to kill the competition. Exactly, uh, that's what I was getting at. Like you have to remove the risk that somebody else is going to mate with the hot green chick. In uh, so many different episodes, so many episodes, Picard will say something like, "We are a organization of discovery," and then they will proceed to wipe out entire. Uh, <laughs> civilization. Well, we've discovered it. Time to make it so no one will discover it ever again. Yeah. We discovered it into the ground. It's it's a little frightening well, how many different species Starfleet. I mean, because that's just we're we're following one ship. It's one ship, and it's a scientific vessel. It's not even a warship. How many of their how many of their warships have they just? Sent across the universe and just wiped out entire planets. Wow, you are distracted, Dingo. You want to well, know why? I just missed a massive why? chest. To the point I'm going back and getting the chest. And <laughs> hey, you did not know. I do know like I like massive out. chests. <laughs> oh no, I noticed. I'm just I'm sick of like getting on to you about stuff. Y you just uh, a few minutes ago tried to make me retroactively put something on my head. <laughs> yeah, because it was awesome. <laughs> In Picard's defense, they had to wipe out any possibility that Riker would procreate. <laughs> Picard's defense. I think that was an episode, wasn't it? It's a, it's a uh, Riker it Klingon was. mix. Kill it. <laughs> Kill it. What's the it name of that one maneuver? What's What's the name of the one maneuver that Picard was famous for? The one where he goes to hyperspace for like. That's the Picard maneuver. Watch this. Watch second. this. It's... Nom 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 nom. <laughs> I forgot to check the chest. I forgot wah, to check wah, it. Wah. And I came all the way Killed back down just for that one. So Killed let's by a mimic. So let's do the Picard maneuver here and do hyperspeed. <laughs> relevant. Relevant conversation. <laughs> I'm very good. Yeah, it, it is called the Picard maneuver. Yes, it is. Oh, okay, cool. I thought it had a different name. I thought it had... Some snooty French sounding name. Well, you probably call it the, uh, now I can't even think of his name, the Kirk Maneuver, just because you prefer Kirk. Oh. Why? I, I'm just jealous of the hair. That's all it is. <laughs> well, well then I should be your favorite captain. captain. You are my favorite captain, <laughs> oh, Captain, my captain. Because <laughs> I have glorious locks. And some good hair, too. <laughs> 
Alright, I set Mimic on fire. He seems less than ecstatic. <laughs> that is... Evolutionarily speaking, how do, you, how do your arms grow out at that angle? To be fair, I don't that think that odd. Darwin ever foresaw Mimic. I don't think that <laughs> that was on his radar. <laughs> no one ever sees Mimic coming. In fact, that's how Darwin died. And as he was dying, he said, this makes no Death sense. By mimic. <laughs> I don't understand this. Ooh, ooh, loot chest. Oh, God. <laughs> that is the best Darwin impersonation I've ever heard in my life. Right, well, we all know that's that the Darwin only Darwin impersonation I've ever heard. I'm about to see something sticky. Darwin was all. Darwin, like Kirk, was just in it for the booty. <laughs> Fat roll. Yeah, he looks a little bit heavy. It's all the friggin' crystals coming out. <laughs> yeah, might want to have that checked. That is some Seems severe dense. shingles. <laughs> he must have had chicken pox a lot when he was younger. <laughs> he had all the chicken pox. Oh, isn't the original Superman movies where he his Krypton was made of crystals? Is uh. Is this what? The original 70s Superman movies. Did you ever see them? Yeah, yes. uh, with the ones... Yeah, Yeah. Krypton was made of crystals, growing crystals. Are you sure? I I was under the impression that was the Fortress of Solitude. Yeah, those are Kryptonian crystals. That Wouldn't that make the, the crystals of his Fortress of Solitude kryptonite? No, because they were put in his thing with him. They were put in his ship. Wow, or I must have been the high when I, the last time I, I watched those. Uh, there's a I reason like for two. it. Yeah, but it even has like uh, a... <laughs> oh, crap, his name escapes me. Who plays Jor-El in that movie? Marlon Brando. He's walking around wearing a, a sparkly Superman symbol in the beginning of the movie. I mean, by the way, this is Seif. That's Say a symbol for Seif. hope. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Seif. <laughs> Wrong Superman What's franchise, matter, my friend. Seif? What's the matter, Seif? You ain't got no scales. Ain't even got no scales. So apparently he's invincible this first time you meet him. That's no. He just has a very specific way to hit him. No, you're not supposed to kill him. But you spoilers, dude! <laughs> hey, I had to read a guide because this game is getting stupider as I get through it. It is becoming less fun. <laughs> You're just bad at video right, games. There, what do you think about that? There Launch. is a lot of crystals in the original Superman. Movie. I I absolutely demand that you play Dark Souls and record every minute of it. No speeding <laughs> up, so that I can experience happening. your failures. You told me that playing Dark Souls at eight times speed was the only way to play it. It would make it better. My point is that it's bad sometimes. Bad. It's not bad. <laughs> Now these uh, these don't, last don't levels say that are, Dark Souls is bad. are pretty hard on. Don't the... say that Dark Souls is bad on uh, on the internet. You'll get swamped. Oh yeah, those people powerful will... internet people. We already said people. that. We already said something about Boba Fett. <laughs> internet yeah, you're right. people we wield such power. <laughs> oh, the hate! It makes me stronger. <laughs> Get the hate flow. I mean, you can just scroll through YouTube and look through comments on videos, and people will say horrible things, and clearly the author of the video comes right behind them and says, You were right. You were right, my friend. I will change my ways. <laughs> look, I was watching a, a video you about a great day laying onto a small dog bed, and there are people there angry. Yeah, oh, PETA. Call PETA. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence is escaping, call PETA. Anger is 90% uh, of the reference. emotion on the internet. I'm pretty sure that it's all powered by rage. The entire internet's just powered by unending hatred. I have no control over my oh, own yeah, life, but I, I hate this video. Al Gore intended for it to be filled with hate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a series of tubes filled with anger. Um... <laughs> Sounds the alarm! Whoa! What the? I really like that he pulled that lever with his neck. Yeah, he did. It's actually an interesting <laughs> choice. I rather liked it, too. I like oh, these things. I've seen enough anime Typical to know monsters. where this is going. <laughs> I expect like a courtship. Just one of my Japanese animes. 
Dread Cthulhu. All right, there so is no smushy, only Zul. They're running. I, I found that a little <laughs> bit disconcerting. Yeah, snake men <laughs> don't mess with uh, with tentacle monsters. They've seen they've seen the internet. They know where this is going. Oh man, the internet is <laughs> All right, guys, uh, it's time to get time to get out of here. <laughs> I choose death. I choose death. Yeah, he was willing to let me step Smushy, all however, over. Smushy, however, is undaunted by the tentacle monster. See, I had no idea what was going on, so I thought I would ch uh, come up here and try to punch him in the taint while he was climbing. Come up here <laughs> to the snake man party? Yeah, he kicked oh, me, oh, which was God. rude. He's, he's taint punching you back. The get him! Get him, Smushy! <laughs> uh, I hope you've sped this up to like 40 times and just punt, taint punch him to death. No, he actually just took a dive. I choose death! <laughs> Look, I actually hurt him by sliding down. That was amazing. Mar Mario kill. Whoop, whoop. Smushy is enraged by snakes. This is a no, pretty confusing snakes. part of the game. <laughs> snakes. Why'd it have yeah. to be snakes? Man, that thing is booking it. Holy oh, yeah, cow. He is. <laughs> Overachiever. They're actually oh, really God. easy to kill. Is that a face hugger? Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you shouldn't let them grab you. you. Bad things happen when they grab you. Yeah, they're they're pretty harmless. <laughs> they're gonna shove an though. egg down your throat. That's what they're gonna do. <laughs> uh, so I've all right, so a little movie. bit of lore time, a little bit of lore time here, Crestle. The Duke is actually Seed. Uh, Seed betrayed the dragons at the beginning. And uh, sure. Gwyn, whenever he became king, yeah, well, whenever he betrayed the dragons, uh, Gwyn basically was like, hey, you're a duke now, congratulations. And he gave him this sweet castle, um, and the whole reason that Seed has this archive and he's doing all this stuff is because he's trying to become immortal. Uh, the, the everlasting dragons were immortal because of their scales, and also they had some sort of, like, weird immortality crystals. Um, so they were literally double immortal for some reason. Double. Uh, double trouble. Yeah, Seed had, Seed had neither. Seed, Seed had neither. So he's <laughs> obsessed with immortality. That's why he's growing all these crystals. Um, and all of, the, uh, all of the bad guys in here are actually inmates that Seed has been practicing on. Uh, so the tentacle monsters and everything are actually... Well, they're, they were people. They're... They were. That's all. In the past. So, I have a question. Yes. Okay. I do have a question. Uh, Gwen, she did all this before dying in the second Spider-Man? <laughs> Gwen to dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guinevere. Guinevere, on the other hand. She just liked his lance Who? a lot. Yeah. 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 Well, and that's how Pri that's how Priscilla was born. What you stop for a moment and give me credit because that was hysterical. No, I was talking about Gwen <laughs> Stacy. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so that's a that's a Spider-Man reference, a Dark Souls reference, and, and a King Arthur also reference. a King yeah. Arthur <laughs> reference within about ten seconds. Okay, we've achieved peak goon. Congratulations, everyone. Maybe that's what the internet's really powered by is just absolute nerddom. You know, so uh, wait, wait, wait. Gwen's a guy. Yeah, Gwen's a dude. He is a dude. Guinevere is a girl. Uh, Gwendolyn is a very girly dude. So Spider-Man was dating a guy. He was. He did well, not know it. He did okay. not know it. The goblin was trying to save him. <laughs> trying to save him from embarrassment. And I love Willem go. Dafoe. Uh, wrong goblin. <laughs> the, I think that's the only goblin. Thank you very much. Mm, I'm, I'm actually referring to the comic. I'm a comic reader. I like books. You, what? You, we always talk about movies. We always uh, talk about movies. Until and we now start talking about comics. You're like, eh, comic snob. There's no such thing as a comic hey, snob. Hey, hey. <laughs> Nobody gets to be a comic snob because everybody looks down on comic readers. 
Which is really a shame because I like uh, I like graphic novels as an art form. As I a think medium. it's a fantastic medium that's neutral to any particular narrative. It just has a stigma, and you can prove that by looking at how they're handled in Japan. But that's not really the issue. Anymore. I wrote a paper on it. Well, it? lots of things are handled oddly in Japan. That that's not really evidence of anything. Yeah, well. No, well, the tentacle look monster is kind of holding in Japan. Ah, oh god! Oh, oh. Back down your throat. <laughs> yeah, he did. No, he's just been penetrated. Oh uh, yeah, and an egg was shipped. Actually, uh, <laughs> the the tentacle monsters are also female, I believe. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're all exclusively female. That's rude. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm serious. Except for the fact that they put, they put uh, bullfrog jeans in them. They did. I mean, have you pulled up their skirts and checked? I don't think you have. <laughs> yeah, there's one of the there's one of the hints right there. The fact that they drop humanity whenever they die. Oh, surprisingly, Jot, some uh, those those skeleton <laughs> that babies. They're female? They, no, that proves they they were human. Uh, the skeleton babies from the last video. Remember those? Yeah, back there in the water. Uh, you can oh, actually. No, no. No. <laughs> you can actually farm. You can farm uh, humanity from them as well. I tried, but I didn't. Oh, get uh, any. yeah. These these two there. will always just sit here and cry. They'll always sit here and cry. <laughs> now they're gonna die because Smushy has to get information. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you crying? Why are you crying? <laughs> tell me. Tell me. I got miracles from them, so that was nice. Uh, yeah. So, the big hat locked. Logan. There's Big Hat Logan. I'm, he I'm has talking a big to hat. Yep. Oh, yep. Yep. And he talks and talks, that and almost talks looks about things I don't care about. The, his hat reminds me of Kung Lao from Mortal Kombat, the one that has the the weird metal razor around the edge. Mortal Kombat. Dun 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 dun. So he also reminds you of Odd Job then. Okay, going back up to the top. Because I'm lost. And no, don't know he what does to do. not remind me of a portly Asian midget. Okay, that door was <laughs> locked. That was a waste of time. So going back down. Well, if you're going purely off of razor, razor hats. Oh man, listen to that music box grinding away at at high speed is really grating. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what to do. It's, this uh, ladder is actually hidden in the dark. So if you don't know what you're looking for, you get very easy to miss. Well, Smushy would take off his sunglasses at night. It wouldn't be a problem. He wears his sunglasses at night. I wear my son. You guys suck for making me think of that song. I oh, almost died. Wham. I almost died. <laughs> womp womp. Now Smushy is sad. That mainly hurts Smushy's pride. <laughs> Which he is longs a significant for the sweet part embrace of, of death, but it never comes. <laughs> He's like a Pomeranian. There's not a whole lot of mass there. It's mostly just fluff and hot air. Oh man, I hate dogs. We've not seen Jimmy in a while. Jimmy is with us in spirit. <laughs> we That's the whole reason Smushy's on this quest, is to find out who killed Jimmy. Well, he never should have went to Tomb of the Giants. That place was terrible. How, are you, you ever going to let that go? It's the water temple. Every game has a water temple. And I'm referring to Ocarina of Time, which has the water temple nobody wants to play. And Tomb of the Giants is the water temple of Dark Souls. So what was the water temple of Left 4 Dead? Left 4 Dead it's, doesn't actually have uh, that a story. Would be, but it is... Uh, <laughs> swamp Fever. Swamp Fever. Yeah, Swamp, <laughs> swamp Fever is definitely the, the sewer level. It's the sewer level of... Of Left 4 Dead. Now, sewer level and water temple are two different things, but they do share similar qualities. So what you're saying namely is the water, water? temple? Uh, namely hatred. Well, they, they cross the line between annoying <laughs> and challenging? Well, actually, uh, a big thing about them is they're usually frustrating and boring. Like, it's the injection of boring that makes it difficult. I wouldn't say it's boring, it's just more arduous. Arduous, meaning that it's repetitive and uh, frustratingly boring. Difficult. Yeah, so. yeah, but I mean, I, I wouldn't. If something is frustratingly difficult, I wouldn't necessarily qualify it as boring. It I is mean, if, not bored, it is if what you're doing that's difficult is not any fun. If 
you're not having any fun, why are you playing the game? Huh? In hopes that the Water Temple because ends. There's, there's because one, Ocarina one, of Time section. is one of the greatest games of all time. But the Water Temple sucks. So it's literally... So, so what you're saying is the triumph of hope over experience. Actually, in this Plus case, the fact that it's you, experience you, over hope. You, you feel that it's worth that the game past the Water Temple is going to be better. Yeah, you're what hope. is this guy doing? This is not time to dance. <laughs> this is the this perfect is time, time to dance. dance. He's, a, he's a channeler. Actually, what's funny is uh, Smushy has that trident, so he can also do the channeler's dance. No, but he doesn't do it very well. He's white. That's racist, I guess? <laughs> yeah, compliments are horribly racist. Wait, not being able to dance is a compliment? No, being able to dance. You can't They're be racist smushy. against white people. Are you nuts? <laughs> that, that's ludicrous. Uh... I, don't, I, I don't feel like I know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I never know what's going on. I'm just lost. I'm adrift you know, is... in an ocean of confusion. You're being very loud to be in a library. No, oh, I'm also killing I'm so people. Sorry. That's usually unwelcome. This is more like the Breakfast Club style library. So everyone's in detention. People from various stereotypes are in detention. <laughs> yes, but again, they're all white. <laughs> that was a strange school. Yeah, yeah, it was. Or maybe whoever puts people in detention was racist against white people. It was that uh, was that principal, wasn't it? Yeah, and he's white, but you I can't, people I can't are remember, prejudiced all I over. I can't remember his name. It's self-hate. It's just self-loathing. <laughs> what was his machine. name? Run. I can't remember his name. Oh, his name was uh, Principal. And his job was Principal. So he was Principal Principal. No. Oh. Well, I mean, he was kind of railroaded into that decision by his parents, wasn't he? More or less. Kreslov, are you Google fooing what the name of the principal was from? Yes. I can hear the tick, tick, tick in the background. Man, this is uh, the Duke's archives. <laughs> this big area. This is pretty boring too, because it, you look around. There's not many items. Uh, there's huge areas that seem unnecessary. I was actually a little bit confused by this because there's so much that seems like it should be used and it's not. It doesn't even seem like Dark Souls. I don't know what you're talking about. Look at these sweet revolving staircases for there's no two of reason. Them. There's two of them. And no one of them I, has little I, I to just no don't purpose. understand I don't understand the point. I don't get it like, either. Why wouldn't you just have one set that goes I, I don't you know what? Just I uh, forget it. Forget <laughs> it. This part is a little bit weird. Like at at this stage of playing, because I've never played beyond this point, I'm wondering if it's going to go back to the more huh, entertaining. Good luck side. with that. You don't have any arrows. You don't have any arrows. <laughs> Principal Richard Vernon. <laughs> Richard Vernon. Vernon. But I mean, Dingo, That's you, you've one. watched let's plays of this game. Does it get better than Tomb of the Giants and Duke's Archives? <laughs> Because it, it was really I mean, fun up until about that point. It doesn't... I, okay, so what precisely about Tomb of the Giants did you find just so horrifying? Uh, it was it the darkness? Was horrifying. it the fact that it was, it was I mean, a combination. Just a slog? It was a combination. It's a slog in the darkness against enemies that aren't very fun to fight because they're uh, sponges, more or less. You have to go through and just burn them. Um, oh, and no. At it's the same time, it splits you up with bonfires and stuff so that it, it takes away the fun of exploring because you could die so easily. It just takes away a lot of the fun things about Border or Borderlands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> about Borderlands. <laughs> about um, Dark Souls. I don't... I don't... Well... I don't know. Whoa, he just phased out of reality there for a second. He is going all Bruce Lee on you, man. Yeah, he is. The mimic is going nuts. Someone got to this... Someone got to this interrogation before... Smushy did. Oh, you got the other best helmet. Yeah, I did. I didn't even realize it at the time I was picking it up because I was thinking about something else. But afterwards, I was you like, that "Hey, chest too." Why'd you miss that other chest? I don't know. Qu quickly, Wait, it if, fades uh, back into time. Talk to pass, yeah. Smushy. When, when you save Big Hat Logan, this is where he hangs out. He just hangs out in this library to read. Uh, yeah, I would, I would, you're never going to go through another super dark area like that again. 
Yeah, from but what even I this remember. part doesn't have like you can explore in this part, but there's nothing to find. There's very little to find for the size that it is. And even this area is really repetitive looking. I mean, it looks just like the other side. It's almost identical. It's a little bit irritating. You it's, know, it's not what it's I expect. It's an archive. I mean, you're from Dark what Souls. What did you expect in an archive? It's Dark Souls. I just expected creativity. How is you're murdering people in a library? Where? What other game do you play where you can do this? I could probably think of ten if you gave me a few minutes. Well, there was an archive <laughs> level in Goldeneye. Give yeah. me two. Give me two. The Goldeneye's one already. But in games, killing yeah, people okay. is all and you, you loved do. Goldeneye. You loved Goldeneye. So I'm ba I'm sure that it's come up many times, but that's not really the point. It's Both Gold Knights. Both Gold Knights had an archives level. With Dark that's Souls, two. there's always a twist. That's the same game. It's just a remake. There's it's always not. A... those two games okay. are drastically different. Yeah, but it was the same. It's the same game. It's just a remake of the game. No, it was. Not, those two games are drastically different. They were practically they they were. It's different like games. it's like Punch Out for the NES and Super, you know, and then Punch Out for the Wii. It's like, yes, okay, it's a drastically different game in that it's for a different system, different graphics, but essentially it's the same game. We eight times speed. Oh, this is actually um, full. Uh, I'm pretty I, sure that that Earthbound is really... a library in it at some point. Oh man, I love Earthbound. <laughs> but I don't think I don't think I don't think it did have a library. I don't I don't recall one. I don't recall a library level there. Um, but, I mean, Jotsam, one of the major problems here is that there's a lot of lore in the particular area that you're visiting, and you just don't care. Well, the well, for one thing, up until the point that it's been here, which this has been my argument, even though I haven't been able to quite convey it yet, uh, every level of Dark Souls up to this point has been not just an interesting layout and interesting oh, enemies, goodness. but there's usually a nice twist in the way that it's laid out. You know, it's something interesting, something unique. Uh, this room with the weird uh, octopi is probably the weirdest thing on this whole area. And I, again, I edited this video down from an hour and 15 minutes. And it was just yeah. a slog. It was not very fun compared to the game itself I have been playing. So I'm I, wanting uh, it to what, get better. What about this particular area? I, I'm still confused as to what you're your major gripe is with this area. Well, again, since you've is watched it, the 33-minute I mean, the version, you've watched the 33-minute version instead <laughs> of the other one. Uh, it would, took me an hour and 15 minutes to beat this area because I was looking for well, stuff that didn't exist. you're doing a lot of backtracking. Yeah, no, that's, you're, you're that's pretty boring, too. <laughs> and I'm the one who played it, so I recall I looked game. for stuff that did not exist because there's tons of empty areas. I, I know for a fact, because I've seen other videos of this, that you are missing stuff. Like, there's oh, keys course on I'm ledges missing that some you have stuff. to drop down to get I to. know that I'm missing some stuff, but there's also just huge empty areas that they get you to walk around for no reward. Of course I'm missing it's like, stuff. It's, it's still Dark Souls. It's, it's, about the, it's about the journey, Johnson. It's about the journey. Well, the, if the journey's boring, then I'm not going to play it no matter what game it is. So I'm hoping it gets back to what it was, which was really good. Okay, uh, pick pick a single area that you really enjoyed so far. Oh, uh, I enjoyed immensely the very beginning of the game up through the Undead Parish, uh, the beginning of On Orlando. Uh, it's all really good stuff, uh, you know, up into fighting the uh, Capra Demon. That's really exciting. It's just fun. It's not so well laid out anymore. But uh, we've actually come to the end of the video, so we, we probably ought to wrap this up and pick it up with the next one. Alright guys, uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe. Also, pop over to our Twitter feed, give that a follow, pop over to our Facebook page, give that a like. Also, if you have an idea for Johnson, something you'd like to say, if you can think of a video game that has a library in it, <laughs> be sure to leave it in the comment section below. You have to kill people, below. though. That's, that's, that's part of it. Sure there was a there was a library I think in at least one of the Mario games too. Eh, so so uh, also a game that Johnson says he enjoys. Maybe Banjo Kazooie. Uh, that wasn't the thing. You said name two game video games with a library. In it. Yeah, me I enjoying it has nothing to do with it. <laughs> has Jack well, nothing I'm saying, to generally do with speaking, it. okay, but every I'm just what I'm trying to convey here is that every 
example of a game with a library that you've brought up so far have been game series that you enjoy. And now you're saying that this particular library you did not enjoy, but it's only because it was too long? No, or it was because too it's confusingly monotonous. laid out? It's monotonous. I, I don't... I, I just don't see that. I don't think it was that... Just try I playing mean, faced, and come back. Uh, okay, but I mean like you faced the Crystal Soldiers, you faced the Channelers, you faced... The snake people, two different types of snake people. Snake people uh, are old news, the channelers are old news, the crystal people behave just like anything else. They do more damage, All right. they're, they're visually different. <laughs> okay. I think you may have... That's called a reskin. In any hard. other situation, okay. you would condemn a reskin. Because I have met you. That's not you. true. We did an entire we did an entire <laughs> LP series of pretty much nothing but reskins. And you condemn them and said it's just a skin, you know, it doesn't really them, change it. All of them, all the skins, <laughs> <laughs> except yeah, for Dalek he, Lewis, he, he, except for Dalek Lewis, which makes Lewis so somewhat Lewis impenetrable. Was amazing. <laughs> well, it made him impenetrable. It gave him some sort of shell, so it was more difficult to hit him. Also, I would like to point out that uh, does the enemy. Could you play the enemy as a separate game? That's the criteria we're going for. <laughs> uh, Could they, they, yes, they did that. It's called Dark Souls 2. Uh. <laughs> so, for Crystal Beagle playthroughs, this is Kreslev. Uh -oh. That took me a minute. Uh, this is Jossum. And this is Dookie Dingo. Oh, uh, we'll see you later. That was just really subtle, and it took me a minute to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, that was really funny. <laughs>